The paper birch, Betula papyrifera, and the Betulaceae, or birch family. One of the characteristic trees of the North Woods, where it colonized extensive areas after natural wildfires back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. The leaves are very distinct. They're ovate or oval in appearance with a sharply serrated margin and like all birches, turns a beautiful golden to yellow in the fall. There's another interesting feature on this sample, and that's the fruit, which is called a strobilus, a cone-like structure. And when it breaks apart, it releases hundreds of seeds that are wind dispersed, which will readily colonize any disturbed landscape. This is actually a boreal species. It's not that common as you get further and further south of the United States. It's more common throughout Canada, where it dominates a good portion of the dry landscape. It's a fairly short-lived tree, and as you get further south, especially in New York further south, it tends to, when it's drought stressed, get some very serious problems, especially the bronze birch borer, which is an insect that will kill this tree readily. But in the meantime, it is a, indeed a very beautiful tree, in part because of its striking bark, which the scientific name refers to, papyrifera, ifera bearing paper. And there's a tendency f to peel off this outer bark to actually girdle the tree, so it's not a very good idea to do that. It's also an easy tree to carve into because of the shallow bark, and that also will damage the tree. It's not normally a multiple stem tree. It's often put together as two or three stems by nurserymen to give this really striking appearance in the landscape. Paper birch, Betula papyrifera, one of the more striking trees in the eastern landscape. <laughs>